later than scheduled because of coverage of the World Match Play Golf. The news and sport on BBC Two with Michael Burke and Rob Bonnet. <laughs> Five people have died in a train crash in Kent. Two trains collided in thick fog on a single track line. Israel's Prime Minister has taken responsibility for the hostage rescue bid that went wrong. And Michael Schumacher's back in front of Damon Hill on the grid for the European Grand Prix. Good evening. Five people have died and 11 have been injured following a head-on collision between two trains on the Kent-East Sussex border. The two drivers are among the dead. The crash happened 300 yards south of Cowden Station just before nine this morning. Officers through, please. Come on. It was every rail worker's worst nightmare. Two trains colliding head-on on a single track. A massive twist of metal for the remains of the front carriages. The two drivers were among the five dead. The 11 passengers hurt suffered only slight injuries. Part of the wreckage was left hanging precariously over the embankment, hampering efforts to recover one of the bodies. It's certainly a very difficult extrication of the one body that's left. And in particular, with it overhanging the embankment, and at any time that train could roll, we've stabilised it as best we can, and we're carrying out some further stabilisation of that scene now. It's believed that one train was leaving Cowden Station at slow speed, while the other, travelling much faster, hit it.